Let's do our confession of faith. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Let's greet one another. Let's give our thanksgiving to God who gave us salvation. With the title, Thanksgiving with a Reason, we'll deliver the word today. And today is Thanksgiving Sunday, a day to give glory to God. In the Bible, various feasts are mentioned. Chosen people of God, Israelites, people of Israel, they through Moses, the word has given to, to Israel, which the other uh, representative feasts kept by the people of Israel, including Passover, unleavened and bread, first fruits, Pentecost, trumpets, atonement, and tabernacles, which takes place throughout the year. And the term for the feasts in Hebrew is hag, which means to dance or to go around, signifying the meaning of dancing and circ circulating. The church has to become a feast, a festival. Even your spirit, even your unity has to become a feast or festival. This is the representative feast of Israelites, Cap. And the fundamental reason for instructing to keep this feast is to not means the life of thanksgiving before the Creator God who controls all things in life, death, and blessings. Live a life of thanksgiving. Do not miss the life of thanksgiving. That's the meaning of keeping all these feats. Among these feats, the Passover, Pentecost, and the Tabernacles are considered to be the three major feats of the Jewish people. What's the meaning of this? It is salvation from Egypt, they got out from Egypt. That, that is a salvation, which is Pentecost, the Thanksgiving of salvation. What is the Pentecost? It is the power to overcome the world. That is a past Pentecost. What is the Tabernacles? They also call Tabernacle, also known as the Feast of Boots. In spiritually, you are completely safe. Among them, the tabernacle is connected to the Thanksgiving. Tabernacle, also known as the Feast of Boots, commemorates the grace of God during the 40 years of, of wilderness life after the exodus from Egypt. They didn't even even sow a seed, or they, did, they didn't even farm. They did not even prepare the crops, even their shoes, everything. God cannot explain by the theories of man, but God protected them. That's a, with that sense, it is a feast of giving death to God. During this festival of tabernacles of the boots of tent, families built boots made out of branches and dwell in them for a week. In rem remembrance and celebration, they kept that they kept that feast of tabernacles for a week to experience that. However, at this time, it is coincide with the end of farming season and the moment of storing crops, carrying the nature of thanksgiving to God for allowing a bountiful harvest during the Thanksgiving season. It is storing the crops, giving Thanksgiving to God because of the, the season harvest. It is also called the Feast of Harvest for the God until your after receiving salvation, up to going back to going up to heaven, with that journey, with that, as you live your life, you should keep this as you're living on this earth. Even now, people of Israel are still uh, keeping this 
uh, feeds. Even among the people of Israel, many families make temporary shelters in their yards, apartment terrace, and similar places where they can live for a week. When you visit Israel, you will find many apartments with terrace. Due to the significance of, the, of commemorating the wilderness life, terrace construction regulation may mandate that the sky must be visible, so they prevent overlapping. Unfortunately, on the day after the Tabernacle Feast, there was an attack on Israel by the armed faction Hamas in Palestine. Palestine it was on a Soviet day because families were gathered together. It was during the holidays, so the damage was even greater. The important reason for keeping the feast is not just as an event itself, but Thanksgiving that we should remember. We should remember God. Because most of our lives, we forget who we are and God about God. Even today, how much offering should I give to God through in today's Thanksgiving Sunday? Even the offering is centered on the money. Everything is centered on that, so you're caught up by that. But as a child of God, we have already received the greatest gift in our lives. This is the greatest gift becoming a child of God, knowing God and calling our God as Father, as a saved, person, as a saved child of God, that is the greatest uh, gift we could receive. Even though we give thanks given to God in our daily lives, but we also, as we keep the feast, then we have to give thanks to God more. Once, so Jolist once pointed out saying, in this modern age, they are more frightening disease than cancer. That is the defi deficiency of gratitude. Deficiencies of gratitude. Which means people do not say thank you to others. There is no any gratitude, heart of gratitude in their heart. The disease that is more frightening than the leading cause of death, cancer, is the illness illness of not knowing how to be thankful. The reason why the modern individuals, despite everything, appear abundant or happy in personality due to the lack of gratitude, even though they have everything. You know, when you go to overseas, they have like subways, tra trains, 24-7, like convenience. When you go to overseas, like in America, the developed country, you can go other places without a car. It is really a dangerous. When the sun goes out, all the people go back to their home. There's people who can go around during night is Hawaii, Japan, and Korea. The, the rest of the countries is really dangerous level. That's the, how the world worst situation right now. Uh, you can they can even think of about two three seven nations, five thousand tribes or world evangelization because they have no time or energy for that. Or even money. Within that kind of st that state may you give thanks to God. If you got disease of or illness not knowing how to be thankful, that's a really a great disease. Why the people who who live abroad, once they get sick, why they are coming back to their home or Korea? Because there's no place like in Korea, like even the clinic, like even the hospital. It takes so much time in America. If you're sick, if you're going to a place to check your medical, thing it takes at least two months and even the medical expenses are too expensive and i went to hawaii i broke i broke something i say because of a uh, glass and just they i went to a hospital and the, the, the and i pay like around one million one for this how much is it for the like cleaning the blood and 
the tissue and the bandaging, how come it is that that expensive? How I, I hope made you truly know that how good to live in Korea. But even the same country, same nation, same tribe, North Korea are actually starved to death right now. We should be thankful for that. Not having like uh, not being like them. And the former Martin Luther said, only the devil's word lacks of gratitude. There's no gratitude in the devil's word. Be thankful to God. Be thankful for going to church. Thank you for giving me a church officer. Thank you for giving me a position in the church. Be thankful looking at yourself. To truly thankful for that. Even right now, when you go to a hospital, there's a lot of patience. Be thankful, be healthy, and going to church. But people do not have to know. Be thankful. Those people who do not receive grace, they do not, they do not have thanksgiving heart. If you're bounded by bounded by the environment of Genesis three, thanksgiving cannot exist. Pursuing a life center, there's no thanksgiving. Center of the material things of Genesis six, and uh, even Genesis seven, center on the success, cannot have thanksgiving. They do not know it's a life of tower bubble. They live like they live like they now they will not die. That's how people of this world are live. Therefore, into this passage, the Apostle John profoundly and fundamentally reveals the reason why we should be grateful in our lives. The walk of faith is all about believing and expressing gratitude, thanksgiving to God for His absolute sovereignty in every situation and environment. However, there is something not to be overlooked. It is understanding the essential reason for gratitude that leads to natural thanksgiving. When you receive grace, when you receive grace from the Word of God, when you succeed in worship, naturally, the word comes out from your mouth. It's not anything hard. Those who receive grace, the word comes out from their mouth and naturally the forum takes place. So it's all about having forum or not. The pers those people who can do forum, they receive grace. Look at them carefully. Most of the people cannot have forum. Those who did not, who do not receive grace, they have nothing to say. Just after worship, they just go away, or leave, because they feel ashamed or embarrassed of their not receiving grace. Because they never receive grace. They just keep hearing, and they feel ashamed, so they do not go to church. How come that person can evangelize? How can that person receive grace in, the, in their daily lives? That's why does the do they gonna apply the word of the proper message in their lives? No, never. They can't. Oh, they will say like on that day, on this date, on this place, God gave me this message. Do they can do? Will they confess like that? So four of you, uh, you, you must receive grace so you can do have forum and can have biblical fellowship having meal to get having meal together is that a, a forum no you should that's also the unbelievers can do that sharing the grace that they see together that is a forum that is the spiritual fellowship so today may you find a reason to be thankful 
a blessing in the name of the Lord that you may have specific evidence to build the baptism of 24 hour thanksgiving in your life and thanksgiving by discovering specific reason for gratitude. Verse 1 reads, See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. And the reason why the world does not know Him because the world do not know Him. Thanksgiving for the restored identity. People, even your families do not know you. Even the world people do not know you. And In today's passage, Apostle John realistically highlights the reason why we should be grateful as we live our lives. And John emphasized that when we come to know the love that God the Father has bestowed, bestowed upon us, it becomes naturally for us to express gratitude or thanksgiving. The supreme love of God towards sinful humanity was manifest, manifested is it, not sparing his only begotten son but offering him as the ransom on the cross but the God show us his love in us for us in that while we are still sinners Christ died for us even we do not know God when we do not know God who is God who is Jesus we do not know him but God predestined us to be to save and God sent his only son begotten son to demonstrate his love for us he died Christ died for us through last Sunday communion we realize the amazing grace given by the blood of Jesus and through his blood we we came to know Jesus of through his, his blood. In reality, we have not directly know the pain of the cross, the pain and the suffering of that. The most awful, painful execution in that time was a cross, crucifixion. You know, even in Roman Empire, age or time, they never crucify their own people, those who have the Roman citizens, those who have Roman citizenship. That's why even Apostle Paul, he did not crucify. He he died by cutting his head because it just ends in instantly. But the crucifixion, you have to they, it, they wait until you die. They nail your hands, your legs, they wait you until you die. And how painful is that, right? In some of the delusions, says, more common, commonly, if even a healthy person, it takes 12 to 13 hours to die. Those are weak, 4 to 6 hours. And you can see how painful is that. If you are a parent with children, you might be willing to die in place, place of your child facing a life threatening situation as it is here on a hard to die for one's children. I will, of course, it is so pity, painful, hard to see your child die on the cross. So, so some of the parents give money to the soldier to to kill to kill him while they're in crucified. That's why. Do you know how God, how God loved us? As he looked at his son crucified on the cross. What kind of heart God had in that time, have in that moment? That's how much He loved us. That is the word of the John, the uh, Apostle John's. That's what how he, did He express? This is 
the ex expression of Pastor John in the place of see what kind of love the Father has given to us. What kind of love? We saw. Because as he knew that the crucifixion, you experience that kind of love. That's how much God loves you. Verse 1, at first, it seems uh, to contain a simple, but however, in the original text, it is not that simple. In the praise, see what kind of love, the Greek word mean what kind is potapen, a term used to express amazement and admiration for something that words cannot express, something that the words cannot express. What kind? Potapen in Hebrew. In Matthew 8.27, uh, Jesus rebuked rebuke the storm in sea and make it calm. Je Teacher, we are about to die. That's what the disciples of Jesus wake his teacher. And she just said, she just said that be calm and what com and the, and the disciple confessed that what sort of man is this that even winds and sea obey him what sort of man is this that even the, the winds and sea obey him that is the meaning of what kind here what sort of man is this that is the word of potapen what kind God we for mankind who disobey this obey God's word and has separated from God and was completely com corrupted and hopeless man that's how that's who we are and God sent Jesus Christ his only son to us to confirm that the, through the redemption of the blood of the cross, all sins are forgiven, and through the resurrection, all problems which are resolved. You should, you, I, you do not know how blessed you are. Even the angels jealous of your existence, an amazing identity and authority has given to you already, and we sh we do not know. We do not who we are. That's the Satan's deception. That's the Satan's tricks. All problems are solved. Thus, are believers do not have problems. Of course, there are small, tiny problems in, in your life, but Jesus fundamentally resolve all problems. Jesus resolve it. It is finished. If you believe in Jesus, that means all your problems are resolved. That's why the people do not believe in Jesus. They really hate Jesus. Uh, they hate Christians. Whether they capture or kill, even right now, even in China, they cast out all the missionaries, all the communism. Even Uzbekistan, Russia, they cast out all the missionaries. those who not believe in God, all the communism, they cast out all the missionaries. Because they, they, their ideology does not affect to their lives. May this week experience the amazing love that has given to us. The expression given that appears in today's passage may not touch your heart when we heard in Korean word. However, when 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 we look at this in original language, this expression carries the meaning of rainy of rain pouring down from heavens. What happens when there's a downpour? When there's a heavy rain, you get completely soaked, right? You completely wet. Apostle John saying that the God's love is pouring down on us like heavy rain. The overwhelming joy of this amazing salvation, the joy of being restored as children of God, may you 
experience this truly. It's not because of somebody, someone, or some environment. It's all about Satan's tricks and deception. May you be not be deceived. That's why the reason why we give worship is to confirm who you are and to be healed and to restore. That's the meaning of, of worship. Do you know how much John, Apostle John, experienced, experienced so much love of God? He lived a longer life than anyone else. And who also received a lot of grace. And among the disciples, Apostle John was the one who were, were embraced by Jesus. As a, even disciple of Jesus, a Jesus disciple asked to John, uh, Apostle John to ask something to Jesus. Who experienced this love? That's what he is saying. This is the love of God. You must give thanksgiving of salvation. Become of coming children of God. When this thanksgiving of salvation becomes your becomes your fundamental basis of your of your life, we do not we do not discourage disheartened in the face of any problems and events and hardship when we fight find our when we realize the thanksgiving of salvation and you will come out as a pure gold those who face a lot of of this uh, hardships difficulties problems to the point where you pain so much there are people like that right those through this tribulation through this hardship through the word through the prayer who, who those who realize this spiritual truth they are different they will come out as pure gold they will never change What do you think, think is the opposite of thanksgiving? Perhaps many would say it's complaining or resentment. Yes, they are right. Complaining or resentment are, are indeed opposite of thanksgiving. However, approaching it from other, another perspective, the opposite of thanksgiving can be, can be described as t taking things for granted. Taking things for granted. In our attitude where various situations and environments in life are taken for granted, thanksgiving cannot take place. A psychology professor at Eastern Washington University in the United States, Philip Watkins, summarized thanksgiving as the emotion we feel when we acknowledge that something good has happened to us and that thing that, then that thing is good came from an external source. People who, who think they have obtained something through their efforts, often they cannot, they cannot express and skip. If they say, I worked so hard, I, I worked so hard, I worked diligent, I put much, so much effort on it, then they don't know how to be thankful because it's all about me. I, do, I did it. In simple terms, their self-centered life. They, in Genesis three, they do not have Thanksgiving. In fact, while in fact that we are safe, that our status has been restored, I am saved. I am child of God. What is there any efforts or actions you you do it you did no right. That's why it says, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own thing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast about. Everything is solely by God's absolute grace. It is the result of the love of the cross of Jesus Christ. It's not something taken for granted. It's not something rightful. I earnestly hope that all believers of Yewon Church will realistically enjoy this amazing grace of and love, being thankful 24 hours for ex for the restored statues. Therefore, I bless you in the name of the Lord to stand as a main figure in the three movements 
and possessing all nations. Verse 2 to 3 reads, Beloved, we are God's children now, and while we have be, has not appeared, but we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him, because we shall see Him as He is. And everyone who does hopes in Him purifies himself, and He is pure. The second touch is thanksgiving for the right of the living, of the living hope. Apostle John reveals that the lives of believers who have become children of God through His amazing love are different from those of the world. Above all, it is emphasized that God's children should live with a unique hope. Unique hope from the world, from the people of the world. What is that hope? It is the assurance that when Jesus returns. We will be transformed into a glorious likeness, just like Him, just like Jesus, in a glorious likeness, our in to, into the internal form. Philippians 3, 20-21 reads, But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we, sh wait we await a sa Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly, lowly body to be like His glorious body by the power that and neighbors him even to subject all things to himself. Just like Jesus' body transferred into his glorious body. Amen. In this glorious body, there will be no any disability, disabled person. There's no deaf, there's no blind person. Even in the midst of the most painful circumstances, we can praise God and be thankful to Him because that kind of walk of faith, because of the living hope of resurrection and the living hope of eternal life, I believe you have that hope and that internal life. Those who possess such living hope do not live under the mercy of worldly circumstances. They do not move right or left, or go, go left or right because of the tiny problem. The distinct, the responsive characteristic of someone who have this living hope is the ability to express, them, express gratitude in any situations. Those who always complain, they complain. But in particular, the Apostle John highlights the privilege of having the living hope and emphasizes that those with this privilege should live a life purified just as Jesus. In essence, this instruction is called to live a life completely following Jesus, experiencing the joy of following Him and breaking free from the old natures and habits mentioned in Genesis, Genesis in, mentioned in Genesis chapter 3, 6, and 11. The conclusion is to align yourself solely with Christ, focus spiritually on the expansion of God's kingdom, and face the covenant challenge empowered by the filling of the Holy Spirit. Those who possess the privilege of living hope have hearts overflowing with gratitude. Because over, they're Thanksgiving overflows from their heart, and their eyes are fixed on the field, fixed on the unbelievers, fixed on the dying fields. They move towards the place where they can testify the, the, of the true gospel, looking forward to the return of Jesus Christ. Currently, we are actively participating in the Tree of Three and the Three Movements in, and in 2024. We are planning a challenge to evangelize to the unbelieving families and relatives and scattered nationwide to the our ministers, our believers, our fathers, mothers, all to uh, even Chungcheon region, Gangwon region, even in Jeolla the region, wherever. When we write their contact numbers, We make people to visit them. Why some? Let us save our family first. They're all the churches are all around the world. They're all even overseas. There's also a church of our of our dominion. 
we can approach them, heal them, and nurture them as well. That's why it's about family uh, relative evangelization. What is the privilege that God has given to us of living hope is to save lives. The life that you live, the life you live, God allows you to live is to save lives. Am I in this li uh, line of li of saving souls or not? Among your 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 lives on a week, are you focusing on saving lives, or don't you you don't have any interest about that? You can check your spiritual states. It's not about evangelists or not. It is about your spiritual state. As you give thanks to God who gives you the privilege of living hope and I bless you in the name of the Lord to be in the front lines. Having the covenant challenge of establishing the absolute partisan of life salvation. And in conclusion, there's a poem collection title gratitude is a meal gratitude is a meal written by a japanese poet named mizuno genzo mizuno genzo is known as the blinking poet blinking poet unexpectedly cerebral palsy struck him in the fourth grade of elementary school causing total paralysis paralysis and loss of language. Four years later, through Pastor Mi Miao, who was preaching in the village, his family heard the gospel and transformed a take a tra transformation take place uh, took place. Despite his condition, Mitsuno Genzo expressed emotions by smiling and blinking his eyes. That's all he could do. When he he shown the characters he desired, he would express his gratitude with a smile or a blink. Despite his circumstances, despite his state, with everything he could, he praised God, all he had, and living a life of communication with God. And The more the he expressed gratitude to God, his family, and everything in his life, and collecting all that thanksgiving and gratitude, and that book is called "Gratitude Is a Meal." There's a poem titled "Eyes and Ears." Although everything was taken away by ce cerebral palsy, God preserved only my eyes and ears to read the word to hear the word for salvation through the word. God allow me to have eyes and ears. There's also the, the poem title, If It Wasn't Difficult. It says, if I haven't struggled, I would not have known God's love. If many brothers and sisters haven't struggled, they would have proclaimed God's love. If our Lord Jesus Christ hasn't suffered, he couldn't have revealed God's love. If I was in struggle, be thankful for your struggles because you are in hardship, because you are completely full, because you, are, because you fail. That's why how we seek God. That's how predestined you to be saved just for that matter. The, these poems convey Minjuno Kohn's gratitude for God's absolute sovereignty. Let us confess together. Gratitude is a meal. Gratitude is a meal. For starting today, try, try it through your thoughts or mind. Thank you, Elder. Thank you, Deacons. Thank you, ordained Deacons. Be thankful for everything. Just like you eating a meal. Just like you eating, just like you eat, be thankful for everything. We must 
we should live a life of gratitude for the astonishing love that restored us from the curse of sin and to become a you know, children of God. Let's live a life because of His grace. Today is a Thanksgiving Sunday. As we enjoy this spiritual salvation, may you know the re clear reason for gratitude and building the absolute partisan of thanksgiving and leading unbelieving souls to, to the Lord. I bless you. Let us pray together. Father God, as we as if come to this day of Thanksgiving Sunday, be thankful for the restored statues. Let us be thankful for the privilege. Let us be thankful for your identity that is given to us. May the thankful be started from now. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.